This is Kilo, and I recently made a video where I picked this Brink 677 series padlock. I picked it up from Walmart, as it said anti-pick due to having spool pins, and a lot of you guys let me know that this qualified me for my orange belt. And yesterday morning, I was awarded my orange belt for that video. So I wanted to say thank you to those who let me know. I had no idea that this actually qualified. And I never really intended to kind of chase those belts, but it is kind of a little cool achievement to have earned in the, the Locksport community. So I just wanted to say thank you to you guys who let me know and those who handed me down the ranking. And there was also a lot of you guys asking about the key, as some of you said, you know, was this a master core inside? And some of you thought that this was an M1 key, and it actually is. I didn't really focus too much on the keys in the video as I didn't really want to make that like a teaching video. I just kind of wanted to make it as simple of a pick video as possible. But when I went to show the camera the bidding, I realized that this is an M1 key blank. And I kind of took a mental note of it and I didn't really mention it. And then when I went to start picking, it kind of reminded me of that as I kind of just tossed the key aside and kind of forgot about them. And I realized... Uh, basically a master core and a master uh, key. So those who were asking, um, if we look on the back here, it actually does have a M1 stamp on it. So some of you were asking, you know, how to identify um, the key blank. You never really want to identify it just by the, the bow of the key. Um, some people refer to this as the head. Um, it's actually called the bow of the key. And while this one does have the stamp on it, you know, you can look for that on the bow, but sometimes it's not going to have the M1. And there are a lot of keys that might have this shape bow out there. So if you, you know, pick these up, you never just want to look at it like that. You know, with a master, you kind of know that, you know, this profile is a, you know, is clearly a master. But whenever you pick up a key to identify it, you always want to look straight down like this. And you kind of, you know, make a mental note of the keyway that it fits here. So you would know that this is a master key, uh, M1. And I just wanted to point that out for you guys who were asking. So it kind of threw me off a little bit um, as I started to pick and I realized as I started applying tension, it reminded me. I just didn't mention it because I didn't want to ramble on too much. But um, thank you guys. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And I hope you guys have a nice day.